Have been you met Mrs. Barkley? Well, apparently not. I guess my family didn't get my letter. You figure how you're going to get home? Oh, yes. I saw a light in my son's office as we drove past. That means he's working late. So I'll ride home with him. It's a bit late for a lady walking alone. If you wait a minute, I'll go with you. Oh, no, Sam. Don't bother. I'll be all right. And I'll send for my luggage first thing in the morning. Good night. Good night. Tyrone, are you sure? Oh, how could I be mistaken? I'm his godmother. I've oh, known him since he was a baby. Just calm Jared, down. Jared, what are we going to do? Calm what down. Are... You come on over to the office and have a glass of brandy, then we'll talk to the sheriff. We'd like to see the judge. Very late. Well, I'm very sorry, but this won't keep till morning. It's all right, Wayne Rahe. I'm always available to the sheriff. Victoria, my dear. Jared, what an unexpected pleasure. I'm afraid it's anything but that, George. Oh? Perhaps we'd better go into the parlor. Wing Lee, some tea for Mrs. Barkley. No, thank you, nothing. Sit down, Victoria. Gentlemen. What time did your son get home tonight, Judge Tyrone? Get home? I don't believe he was out of the house. Why? Are you certain he didn't leave? Well, I haven't actually seen him since dinner, but he said he was going to study in his room tonight. He's in the last year of law school, you know. <laughs> going to give Jared here some competition. Would your servant know for sure? Wing Lee? Your master has not left house. Sheriff, I don't appreciate being kept at a disadvantage like this. What possible difference does it make whether or not my son was at home tonight? A woman was shot to death in town tonight. My mother was the only eyewitness. You've accused my son? George, I'd give anything in the world. Well, this is ridiculous, Victoria. You've come unhinged. Surely you can see how difficult this is for her. For her? What about my son? What choice did I have, George? I saw him commit a murder. Victoria, I don't understand any of all this. You've been like a second mother to that boy ever since Louise died. You've advised him, encouraged him to become a lawyer. You have his complete confidence. How can you possibly believe that he could kill anyone? It's true. It isn't true. You've made a mistake. 
a dark night, a sudden shock, someone who looked like Buddy, maybe. I can see how that could happen, can't you? I'm sure the sheriff can. I couldn't help hearing. Who is it I'm supposed to have murdered? No one, Buddy. It's all a mistake. She called herself Frisco Rose. Had a second floor room over on Grand Street. You know her? Only of her. Well, I know the woman. She's been up before the bench on many an occasion for dissolute behavior. Well, no matter what she was, I have to handle her killing the same as if she'd been a pillar of society. Isn't that right? Certainly. But do you have any actual evidence against my son? Nothing but Mrs. Barclay's word. Well, I wonder if you have that. Are you able to identify him as the man you saw shoot Frisco Rose? In heaven's name, Victoria, put a stop to this insanity. Tell the sheriff you were wrong. Well, Mrs. Barkley. He's the one. I don't blame you, Aunt Victoria. I know it's nothing malicious, just an honest mistake. <sighs> Mother, would you wait in the hall for a moment, please? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Now, I want to make something very clear. There's no question about what my mother saw. Take my advice, buddy. Don't wait for the truth to come out. Tell it now so your father can help you. It's your mother who needs help. From a doctor, a specialist. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry for the tragedy that lies ahead. Well, I hope you understand my position. If the witness had been anyone but Mrs. Barclay, I'd have my doubts. Save your apology. I think you can make it to my son. Oh. I still don't see any point in coming by here. I had to. I had to make sure in my mind I couldn't have been mistaken. Now, you listen to me. You say you saw Buddy commit murder. That's exactly what you saw. But was it murder? Frisco Rose couldn't be any more dead. But a boy like that doesn't pull the trigger without reason, without provocation. Jared, I want you to look for that explanation. All right, Mother. I'll start an investigation in the morning. Oh, no, Jared, please, tonight. Right after I take you home. I can drive home by myself. I'll be fine. Please. I'll do everything I can.
You better not drop that. Jared Barkley. Well, if Rose didn't pick the apple from top of the tree, I'm Ruthie. How do you do? I'm a friend of Rose's. I uh, don't suppose you ever noticed me. No, but I will the next time. I um, suppose you came to see Rose. I hope it won't come as too much of a shock to you, but she's dead. Shot right outside in the alley. Yes, I know. Uh, Ruthie, I don't suppose you'd mind if I took a little look around. Help yourself. I just dropped in to pick up a few things she'll need. She always took a lot of pride in how she looked, you know. She'd want to knock their eyes out at that wake. You known her very long? Three years. These were her favorites. Which do you like best? Oh, the, uh, the green one. Tell me something, Ruthie. Where'd she get all this Chinese stuff? Somebody give it to her? She didn't talk much. Are you sure this pink one isn't better? Oh, no, no, the green one, definitely. You know, this little trinket here looks kind of expensive. You sure you never heard her brag about who gave it to her? Oh, she was very secret about him. I guess you're right. The green has more class. Listen, so tell me something, Ruthie. Same fella gave her all this stuff? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he must have been quite a character, huh? What did he look like? Can you describe him? Oh, he never came around here. Rose used to meet him different places. Oh, come on, Ruthie. She must have talked about him a little bit. You know, who he was, his name. Just that he was from uptown, and his father was somebody important. Oh, you'll never guess what she called that one. What was that? The lizard. She used to laugh at him behind his back. Said she had him like a lizard on a string. Mm -hmm.